Hey everybody, this is Steve Toth from seonotebook.com. This is where I email my best tips to over 17,000 subscribers every Tuesday at 9.30 Eastern. So if you want more tips like this, just head over to seonotebook.com and subscribe. And if you want me to rank your website, just click work with me in the top right hand corner. All right, so let's get into today's note. So this was actually based on an insight that I had in 2021, but I've used ChatGPT to really 10X this note, and I'm gonna show you how that works today. So we're gonna start by Googling a keyword, and we're going to use something called interrogative words to get more questions based on that topic. And the way that it works in the original insight was actually that by going back to the search bar after searching your main keyword and typing in a question based keyword, an interrogative word, we're going to get new topics that relate to our main topic. So you can see things like what is APRC? What is a good mortgage rate? What is a jumbo mortgage? What is a good credit score? The more you do this, the the more words you're going to get right so how many times salary is a mortgage that is a fantastic keyword that would be otherwise very hard to discover uh, let's just do it with something simple like how to uh, we get a bunch of really great questions and this one i really loved is when does when does the fed meet again this is a question that would be so hard to discover with a traditional keyword research tool. I don't think any other keyword research tool would suggest this other than Google. So, you know, when does the Fed meet again? The, the Fed are the people who determine the interest rates which affect the mortgages, right? So by um, answering this question for your uh, user, you've suddenly, um, you know, tried to anticipate their next third fourth fifth question they have after typing that main keyword and the reason why this is so powerful is that google uses the last click to determine which pages and which websites are fully satisfying the user's journey that's actually talked about in this book called in the plex by stephen levy and he talks about how backlinks and last click were the two big data points that helped Google early on really detect whether or not a web page was quality. And if you think about last click, it's actually a very easy piece of data for Google to collect and it's very scalable, so they must still be using it. And essentially by using these interrogative words and you know anticipating what that second third fourth question is i mean google tries to do it right here with the people also ask right but this is a basically another place where people also ask questions are hiding right and by anticipating what these you know future questions are we keep users on our site upping their time on site their engagement their uh, user behavior signals and ultimately the goal is to make us the last point in their destination right you can't fake those kinds of signals and these are the types of strategies that help you basically capitalize on them so with respect to this tip what i've done with best mortgage rates is basically determined here in yellow and and uh, in green all the interrogative words that yield results uh, that ended up netting us about 100 and 100 questions basically so we have now 100 topics based on this that are very otherwise very hard to find. Uh, when to lock in a mortgage rate? What do points mean on a mortgage? Um, should you use a mortgage broker? Tons of really great questions here. And I will just say that there's a version of this note that I'm not releasing that's only for my private practice. So if you want that working for your website, uh, you're just gonna have to go to seonotebook.com uh, and click the work with me button on the top right hand corner. Um, but beyond that, I wanna leave you with one other really strong piece of value here. And that is now that we have these questions, how do we actually copy these? And of course, like in my practice, we're automating this entire strategy, but for the average person, you're just gonna want a way to copy this. And so I created this bookmarklet, which you can find in the note, that all you have to do is just click it whenever an auto suggest is open, and you're gonna get all those pasted right to your clipboard. So, um, yeah, we can just, you know, paste another one there. So with that, 
um, I would suggest a couple of next steps for you. So once you actually get all these topics related to your um, uh, niche, you'll want to use keyword, uh, sorry, um, GPT for sheets to basically weed out the topics that are not uh, related to your thing. So in this case, American Idol or when does Pisces season start? I don't want those in my keyword data. So I would go to go over to GPT for sheets and uh, download that, put the extension into uh, Google Sheets and then use a prompt like, does this relate to best mortgage rates? Yes or no? And then just weed out the ones that have no. I'm not gonna go over all of that in this tutorial. Um, but then once you have uh, it narrowed down to only the relevant ones, uh, you'll probably wanna go over to uh, Keywords Everywhere and uh, get the search volume for those. So you can see that I've done that here. Uh, we have the global search volume and then the keyword and then some other metrics associated with that. Then after you have that, go over to uh, keywordinsights.ai and cluster those keywords. Use your agglomerative clustering tool to essentially cluster those keywords and group them together. This way you'll know if they belong on the same page or if you should create a new page for them. If you are creating a new page for them, try to internally link those from your money page so that the person who's searching for best mortgage rates can then click off to like that, you know, when does the Fed meet again type topics. So if you've done all of those things, you're already 10 steps ahead of your competition. But if you want to be 100 steps ahead, just head over to seonotebook.com, click work with me, and then just um, fill out this form and we'll get back to you. All right, that's pretty much the note. If you like this tip, just head over to seonotebook.com and subscribe. Uh, I email my best stuff weekly and um, yeah, we'll see you in your inbox. All right, take care, bye.